Uh, welcoming to the stage next now, please, if you will, the Croeso Mau to our local regional AM, Dennis Jewell. Hello, Merthi. Oh, my name is Hagolly Welska, my daughter Heavy. I can't tell you how exciting it is to see so many people marching in murder for independence. I grew, I grew up in these valleys and ever since I was a teenager I knew that one day Wales would be an independent nation. But the, the events of recent years, months, even weeks have led to this growing rumbling, this crescendo of realisation that that time has to be now. exciting, it's important that we're meeting at this time, but it's also significant that we are meeting in this place, because Merthyr is the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution, it is the town where the workers' red flag was first flown. Now, a fact that passes many people by is that Merthyr, the word, it means martyr, Merthyr. It's fitting when we think about how much the town and its people has had to sacrifice over the years. Sacrificing our health, our livelihoods, even at times our lives, to satisfy another's greed. Not far from here, in Vaynor Churchyard, is the grave of the Iron Master Richard Crawshay, a man whose wealth was built on the suffering of others. Now, aside from his name and dates, the only words on his gravestone are, God forgive me. He knew when he went to meet his maker how he would be judged. Now, Crawshay was one of a long line of people who have misruled and destroyed the economy of these valleys. It was true then, and it's true now, because today... Today, an absent ruling class has overseen the destruction of our workforce, long lines at job centres, and longer still at food banks. We stand in Penderyn Square, named after Dick Penderyn, who was hanged for his part in the He maintained that he was wrongly accused of stabbing a soldier, and his last words before he was hanged, O Arglwyf, Demaganwedd, O Lord, this is injustice. Now what would Dick Penderyn say if he were alive in Merthyr today, if he could see the desolation on our streets, the hundreds homeless, the countless struggling to earn a living, universal credit, sanctions for missing appointments, not enough jobs to go around, factories closing, no investment to take their place, shops closed, shutters down, no money left to keep the lights on. When we look back over these dark periods of our history, we see that all was not lost in the soot and the rubble. After all, diamonds are formed in the bowels of the earth under extreme pressure and heat. They thought they could define Mirtha in the muck of the mines, but they didn't realize how diamonds are made. Now, Harry Webb, a poet well acquainted with Merthyr Bardd Aroin, whose birthday it would have been today, he called Merthyr the jewel of the valleys. Well, diamonds, they are the hardest matter known to man. They are often exploited, but they are valuable and they shine in the darkest corners. It's true of Merthyr and it's true of towns across Wales who are realizing that this is an idea whose time has come. Friends, 
We do not want independence because the word sounds nice. We do not want independence because the principle is important. No, we want independence so that we can start our own journey and make decisions which will help the people of these valleys, not hinder them. I see two futures stretching ahead of us. One, beleaguered by inward looking, wearing an imperial shame and searching all the while for a soul that was never ours. The other, sunlit with our sights towards the sky, ready to take our place among the free nations of the earth. Stop the world. Wales wants to get on. in Merthyr today because Merthyr is no longer synonymous with sacrifice. This is one of the towns where our future will be forged because we in Merthyr have been tested in the furnace. We've been moulded in grit and fortified in iron and out of the dust of our history, Merthyr is rising again. New Wales looks like outward looking, proud, and with a song from the valleys of Merthyr and Shumney, of Amman and Gwendrife and Usk, of Ogwen, of Idwell and Festiniog. Let our voices rise to a thunder that echoes in Crochet's grave. Come and be Come and 